Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to electrical and electronics measurement and we're discussing about the statistical analysis uh, and measurement system, the measurement data that we obtain, how to use statistics so that we can get uh, you know close to the true value, the correct value of the parameter which we want to measure. So in, we have already previously discussed uh, uh, some important parameters, mean, deviation, standard deviation, variance. So in this video, we are going to discuss about another uh, two important concepts, which is central value and histogram. So we know that the statistical analysis of data is done so that we can get close to the true value because measurements are prone to error and a lot of factors play a role because of the human factor, environmental factor, the instrument, you know, quality of the instrument, all of that play a role in causing deviations from the true value, the readings that we get. So generally, a lot of readings are taken for a particular parameter under measurement and then important uh, statistical uh, you know, analysis is done no matter what mathematical calculations are done to get us the true value depending on the requirement. So generally the data which is obtained, uh, the tests that are done, it is of two types, multi-sample test, single sample test. So in multi-sample test, what is done is that a parameter uh, is measured multiple times repeatedly and it involves using different test conditions, okay? The, the measurement system, the instrument which is used, uh, it is different in different conditions, different environmental conditions, different observers, okay? and uh, all that is different so this is called as multi sample test in single sample test all of these conditions are kept the same and the multiple observations multiple readings are taken so from this readings what happen we have to determine one such important parameter which is called as the central value. Now, as I said, deviation in measurement or errors in measurement are caused by a lot of factors, okay? Because of the human factor, environmental factor, ins the instrument factor, each one of these factors can be considered as a variable. And these variables, it can be additive in nature, or subtractive in nature that it what I'm trying to say is that so suppose let us say that uh, the true value is somewhere here okay in the middle this is the true value of the reading so because of the factors the which cause errors they can pull the reading on this side on the negative side or on this side so depending on the number of factors the reading can move in this direction or in this direction so what happens is that sometimes because of the additive and subtractive nature of uh, the number of factors that are involved they generally cancel each other out suppose let's say i'm just trying to make you understand there are four factors involved two of them are additive in nature two of them are subtractive in nature so what will happen is that uh, they are more or less of the same magnitude so what will happen is that they will neutralize each other and we will get somewhere around this true value, close to the true value. So what will happen is that we will get a scatter 
of the data the measurement readings will be scattered like this and most of these readings will fall around a particular area where the grouping will be large so this grouping or this value around which most of the measurement readings fall that is called as the central value okay that is called as the central value so the scattered pattern are obtained around the central value so let us try to understand it with the help of the concept of histogram so histogram again like i said uh, when we take a multi sample data or observations for a particular measurement of parameter with different test conditions the data is, uh, is it is scattered around the central value so this histogram is uh, a form of representing the test results so let us see how it happens let us say we are measuring a particular parameter and we took some number of readings so we got the following results so these are the parameter values that we obtain and here are the number of times we got these values so the results that we got are we got 9.7 this value three times 9.8 four times 9.9 six times 10 eight times 10.1 five times 10.2 three times 10.3 one time okay so here the maximum number of time the result that we got is 10 eight times it is eight and the other thing here the next higher thing is this six which we got now for 9.9 .9 and uh, five readings we got for 10.1 so here 9.9 .9 and 10.1 they are close to 10 so this is represented in this form which is called as histogram or frequency distribution curve so here in the x axis we have the measured parameter values and here are the number of readings or the number of times these values appeared so 9.7 is 3 9.8 is 4 9.9 9 is 6 10 8 10.15 10.23 10.31 so total we have 30 readings 30 readings are there and here the most of the grouping it appeared on this 8 for 10 so this is the central value and around this also the central value the next higher readings that is 6 and 5 for 9.9 .9 and 10.1 happen so the no the grouping or the maximum number of readings it it was scattered around these three values 9.9 .9, 10 and 10.1 okay so this is the central value and the measurement readings the it was maximum either on this side or on that side it was maximum here here it is 8 here it is 6 here it is 5 so this is the concept of central value now in the upcoming videos related to uh, you know electrical electronics measurement we'll go deeper into this we'll try to understand it in a better way so here just i was trying to give you a you know quick idea about what central value is so here we have discussed about two more important concepts related to statistical analysis of data that is the concept of central value and histogram so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much